Arts United serve as a collective voice for many artists. That collective voice continues to be strong despite the ongoing pandemic. Joining me today is Arts United Vice President of Community Development, Dan Ross. Good morning, Dan. How are you? Good morning. I am well. Thanks Hi. for having us here. So, the world is a little different right now, but you guys are still continuing your programs. The world is indeed different for all of us, but yeah, artists and arts organizations are incredibly resilient and such an important part of our community. Um, and during this time of uh, challenge, these organizations have really pivoted to continue to meet the needs of the community. And I've just been so impressed to watch what some of our partners are doing. Yesterday is a perfect example. Uh, yesterday morning, the Fort Wayne Ballet was performing in the Arch United Center as, as the wrap up to their summer intensive. They're a fantastic uh, training program. Students come from all over the world, all over the nation to study in the summer. Um, and so they're performing in a socially distanced way. Our technical staff had done a fantastic job of roping off the seats that needed to be roped off and really preparing for how do we do live performances during this pandemic era. Um, and everything was going fantastically well, but you may have heard during some construction downtown, somebody cut a power wire. And we so, did hear that, yes. Yeah, and so <laughs> power went out. And so uh, incredibly adaptive, leapt into action, our team pulled up some battery powered lights from the basement, ran an extension cord from the Museum of Art who still had power, and the audience members pulled out their cell phones. Uh, the show went on. So at any rate, arts and culture activities still are happening, uh, but it is, it's, it is a very different environment. Um, this, this week, the Fort Wayne Museum of Art has partnered with Arch United in Chalk Walk at Home. As you know, Chalk Walk is such a wonderful summer festivity that's part of the Three Rivers Festival. Um, this year, as so many summer festivals have been canceled, we've looked at other ways to engage these activities. And so the Fort Wayne Museum of Art created a really really fun program of doing Chalk Walk at Home. And this is the last weekend, but you can still register through their website if you'd like to do that and participate and do, create a truck drawing on your driveway or you know on the sidewalk in front of your home and, and still celebrate those arts and cultural activities. And of course with artists, this is a little bit of a time that they might be also struggling. You've partnered with somebody to help them out. Yes, um, this is a challenging time. Uh, in addition to being resilient, our organizations and individual artists we know are probably going to have challenges financially for the next 12 months. And so uh, the Fort Wayne, uh, uh, the, the Community Foundation of Greater Fort Wayne and Arch United have partnered together to create an artist relief fund. And over these past a uh, couple of months have distributed over $55,000 to 85 artists, uh, really meeting an essential sort of need. But Arch United is continuing to look at the needs of both those individual artists and arts organizations because they are going to need community support. Dan, thank you so much for stopping by. Of course, they have their signature event coming up, Taste of the Arts, and it has gone virtual this year. That's on August 29th. Find more details on Art United's Facebook page. We'll also have them coming back in on our show a little bit later in the month.